peace and love. Hope all is well. Hope you're feeling blessed and protected and safe and high vibrational. Now, in this video, we will bring you forward messages and guidance for those under the sign of Gemini. And we'll just be having a look to see what energy has to present to you today. Now, this is a general read, so the messages may or may not resonate. If they do, please feel free to like, share, subscribe and join the journey. Now, if you're looking for a personal, the information is down below in the description box. On this channel, I also channel the energies of Mother Gaia from Ascended Masters, as well as some celebrity energies who wish to assist us on our journey here on Earth. And the most recent en celebrity energy that I've channeled is Aaliyah. I've also done Michael Jackson and I've also done Elvis Presley, Princess Diana, Left Eye and Frank as well. And you can have a look at those in the playlist. So we're just going to get straight into it for Gemini closing out February 2021. Okay. So, a card of kind of jugglings came out as well as, really, I want to say, a card representing a union, representing love, has come out of the deck. Now, what I'm getting with this, it's juggling love, okay? I'm also getting at juggling people, so you could have more than one suitor at this time, or more than one love interest. And it may not necessarily be a love interest, it may just be um, a lustful interest. But I see the juggling of more than one people. I'm also getting getting the juggling of circumstance. And I'm getting that everything, everything is not as it seems. So, and it's something to do with the circumstances. The circumstances are not as it seems. So maybe you're experiencing something that requires you to look at it from another angle. It requires you to look at it from a high perspective. I'm getting um look at it from a deeper tone. I don't know what that means, but from a maybe just from a deeper level. But I see the embracing of two people and the cards is presenting eleven eleven to me. But I see the embracing of two people. I'm also getting awakening, an awakening of love. I'm getting the divine feminine divine feminine and divine masculine. The, com the coming together of these two people or these two energies so maybe you represent one of these energies and the other person represents the other energy and when you both come together you both balance out one another we have a heaven on earth at the bottom of the deck just for confirmation of that message balance that you both balance out one another you both bring like some form of clear sight to each other. What else do we have for Gemini? Okay. So, the trickster energy coming out of the deck. Sorry, you can't see. And you also have the youth. And you also have destiny. Okay, so for some reason I'm getting that someone's playing with their destiny. They're tampering with their destiny. Now it can it could obviously be someone that's immature, that has childlike tendencies. Okay, but for some reason I'm getting that they scare themselves. Maybe the things that they do places themselves in more anxiety or stress. And it causes them to see kind of back at it from other people or back at it from you. But I see this trickster energy, okay. I'm getting it's in, it, they have bad influences around them. The people that they are around are misleading them, are taking them away from their destiny. 
But there's a level of like this person knowing their destiny, knowing what they are capable of or knowing that they are meant for more or that they are of a high vibration, but kind of being misled. I feel that somebody's ego has a strong hold over their mind or somebody's ego causes them to act out of alignment. Choices. So yes, this person has to make a choice. What path are you going to choose? Are you going to continue to be misled? Or are you going to choose the path of the light? Or the path of your light? And we're getting obviously crying and emotion from this card. Are you releasing this? Are you going to release this? There's a choice to release. Or you're being given the choice to release or being asked in this moment what are you going to release are you going to release these negative emotions these feelings of sorrow these feelings of sadness these feelings of heartache or pain but literally i'm just getting like for a while now you've constantly been presented with choices choices that That choices that can take you away from your highest good, basically. And I just feel like you've been strayed away from your destiny, being strayed away from the path of your highest good. And I just feel like it's influences around you or influences around this person that's making them act not within their highest good or their highest destiny. For some reason, with this apple, I'm seeing Adam and Eve, but I'm seeing Eve most of all with this apple here. And it's like you're being enticed. Oh my God, and there's a snake in this card as well. It's that you're being enticed to buy the apple, but this time it's not um, the apple, like a bad apple that's going to cause um, kind of darkness for humanity. It's like a, it's a golden apple. Like it's, a, it's an apple that if you choose to bite it, that leads you to your highest destiny to your higher self and it's like you're being given the choice okay because right now you're growing from the inside from the inside out blossoming from the inside out your mind's growing your mind's expanding i'm getting that you're being connected to the akashics as well There's light in your fingers. Healing comes from your fingers, from your hands. And I'm getting like sirens. Maybe that you kind of um, can act as a siren or I'm seeing like those mermaids that sing and hypnotize the um, fishermen to come towards them. But right now you need to be um, wary of trickster energies, of people that are trying to mislead you. You need to chat, kind of um, develop your focus. Look at yourself in the mirror. Look at your reflection. There's a need to kind of find the good in yourself again. I'm getting at the middle ground. Because with this choices card, what I was getting with this, it's three doorways. So there's like three choices, the good, the bad, and then the one in the middle that combines both. With this mirror, it's like on the mirror, you, if you can see this, this face, you can see the left side, the right side, and then there's an eye in the middle. Again, that's like you, the good, the bad, or the person in the middle. Who do you choose? Do you choose the good, person the bad person or do you choose both sides of yourself that embraces your light and dark okay for some reason i'm see i'm getting like seeing the beauty in your imperfections 
like maybe having a scar on the face or having a scar somewhere that you're changing how you feel about that scar or the story of that that scar we have death and rebirth coming out for me i feel like that's confirmation I do definitely just feel that like there's a transformation happening with you. I just feel like your goodness is improving. It's like your goodness is kind of coming back to you, but not coming back to you. It's almost like, I don't know, I want to say like a part of your innocence is coming back to you. A part of your innocence is being felt again. And I'm getting like a level of kind of being softer in the way that you act. And not soft in terms of um, being all feminine or whatever. I mean softer, just being gentle and being allowing yourself to be vulnerable and honest in emotion. Like I get this energy of not try, not having a false mask on and kind of being inauthentic with your expression, not trying to seem tougher than what you are or not trying to seem emotionless when you're full of emotion, when you're full of depth, when you're full of content. And when I say content, I mean content as is, as in um, things to express, things to speak, things to say. Integrity, yes. No more holding yourself back, no more wearing a fake mask, being vulnerable, being fully naked for all to see, being your most authentic true self. Sharing your divinity with the world. But having integrity in your beliefs, in your thoughts, in your knowings, in your wisdom. Because I'm getting that your sense of direction is increasing, it's heightened. Like there's an increased level of knowing where you're going and you have heaven and earth coming out of the deck. I feel that this card wanted to come out earlier, but heaven and earth coming out of the deck, but you're finding balance in yourself, finding balance in the world, finding balance in your journey on earth. I just feel like you're pulling in wisdom from all directions, from as many directions possible. And you have this card at the bottom of the deck. Sorry, let me try and show you. Removing the false mask, as I was saying. Being your most authentic self. Allowing people to see the emotion that lies within you. Allowing people to see the emotion that you've always been held, holding on to. But it's almost an energy like, it's not like you get rid of the mask, you hold the mask for all to see, but you also hold your emotional self for all to see. I'm getting like, there's a time and a place to be emotional, there's a time and a place to be I'm, I'm getting like less authentic, but it's not less authentic. It's just more so saying like it's a time and a place when you're needed to be emotional, when you're needed to bear all on the table. Sometimes it's not appropriate to bear all on the table. The father. It's about being tactful in your decisions, being tactful with who to share your knowledge with, being tactful with who to share your wisdom with. but you're protected and someone's got your back and I feel like it's your spirit team, but very much so, someone very powerful is in your corner, very intimidating energy. They scare off a lot of dark energies from tampering with you, from disturbing your, um, your mental processes, from disturbing time when you're thinking. For some reason, I feel like when you think, Energies try to prevent your thinking or do something to your mental processes.
but your spirit team's kind of protecting you, blocking things from stopping you from thinking or stopping you from being creative or whatever. There's something that they are stopping from happening. And it feels more so like protecting you. So let's just pull one or two cards from the Oracle of the Seven Energies Oracle deck to clarify and close out this read for Gemini, February 2021. We just need one card. I feel like you already know. Now, don't pressure people for answers that you already know. The sorry, don't pressure people with questions that you already know the answer to. Also, it's like stop putting yourself in the position where to be disappointed again. That like if you know that someone's going to tell you no by asking them the question in the first place. It's almost like you ask, you're asking it to kind of be upset, really. Okay, so we're just going to do four more shuffles and we're going to take the card off the top of the deck if no card comes out. So one, two, three, four. Sacred reverence. Okay, so I did a personal reading today for somebody and this card came out three times today. And it was speaking about looking back at your past, looking back at darkness, looking back at things that, wrongs that people have done to you from a high perspective, from a different perspective, knowing that it's happened to you to serve you, not happened to you to break you. Not, it's not happened to you to show you that you're weak. It's happened to you to show you that you're strong. For you to realise how much strength you have within yourself. Now, not just that, but with this card. This card talks about realising that you are one with everything. But also realising that there is life within everything. And everyone and every aspect of nature. Realising the living in life and the life in the living but really it talks about the expansion of your mind, your perspective, your level of consciousness, the level of love that you receive and feel from your heart space. But there is an energy of um, healing. And again, going back to the healing hands, this energy of you having healing hands and light within your hands. And there's an ability for you to be able to heal others and even yourself or even your, your own heart space by resting with your hands on your chest. Or meditating with your hands on your chest. Or using certain crystals on your chest at night time or in meditation like rose quartz. But just as I was saying rose quartz, tourmaline also popped in my head. So again, that's just probably a reminder to be protecting yourself energetically. Okay. But we're going to leave this video here. For those under the sign of Gemini. I thank you for being present with me. I thank you for joining me for this read and listening to this video. I send you my gratitude. Peace and love. Ashe.